What's up? I just bought this bus. It's a 2001 International School Bus. What a treat to pull over while traveling and be able to lie down in a bed and get some sleep instead of sleeping in the front seat of my Kia Soul. <laughs> wow. It's got electric with working outlets, but no plumbing. Something I never thought I'd be this excited about. I got my camping toilet today. Woohoo! No more shitting in a bucket. <laughs> It's actually not that much better, but it'll do until we get our composting toilet. I got right to work making screens to keep the bugs out and my cats in. I have a 24 pound monster and a 10 pound ninja. I'll be going with a different screen setup when I dress the front door. The items that she already has in here, there's two beds that expand out into the center. Everything that's in here now will be repurposed and <laughs> Opening the bus back up to an empty interior has allowed me to really feel out and change my floor plan several times now. I also found a few fun surprises from the last owners. Look at all those guitar picks that are already in the bus. Woohoo! This is our current living situation. And with a 30 amp power hookup, I can make a meal and have a cool beverage. Solar power to come. For the placement of my vocal booth, I'm working around the wheel wells as well as the diesel door that I need to maintain access to. I'm still doing a little research on exactly what materials I want to use and the most effective way to layer them to get the best soundproofing results. I'm thinking it will be two layers of plywood with a layer of mass loaded vinyl and green glue compound in between the plywood. I'll also be addressing issues with sound flanking with green glue sealant and putty pads as needed. I plan to put a closet on both sides of the booth as well as behind it between the booth wall and the bus wall. If you guys have any suggestions on how I should do this, please share your knowledge below. Since I have a handicap door in the back, I'd like to keep the actual back door as a functional back access and turn the handicap door into a garage door. I plan to have my low lofted bed on the other side with the ability to expand the mattress all the way out to the garage wall. And this will probably house the litter box. So these are my thoughts so far and I've still got lots to do before I get to the layout of things. I still need to prepare for and get spray foam insulation on the walls and ceiling as well as deal with the front door and install a mini split. See you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye.